This video will discuss Guided Temp, a very popular product that Roe provides that helps the doctor deliver an immediate implant provisional based on the guided position of the implant. And what you see imaged here is a surgical guide, uh, preferred that it's a fully guided surgical guide. In other words, the implant fits through the sleeve and is guided through the sleeve as opposed to just the drills. A immediate provisional template that supports a temporary with a hole in it. A temporary abutment, generally an OEM part from the implant manufacturer when it's available. Obviously an implant screw. A plug that goes into the cylinder to block out. And then block out gaskets that go at the margin of the cylinder to prevent material from locking anything in. So that is the guided temp package. Now why do we offer this? Why do we make this? Well, there are alternatives, more traditional alternatives to making immediates. One would be either a pre-manufactured PMMA or printed uh, tooth, or even a denture tooth that's pre-made on a model. And then the patient is either uh, receiving an implant with a surgical guide or maybe freehand and then uh, essentially floating the denture tooth or the pre-made tooth into place. And this means the implant really needs to be placed perfectly. Uh, perhaps it's planned, perhaps it's, uh, perhaps it's just a freehand uh, like this without a flap. Uh, but then the challenge is putting the hole in the right place and then picking it up and then um, doing all the work subgingively to finish it off. This is a challenging way to make an immediate provisional. Another very challenging way is uh, to design it in software first. And there's a whole process to how this can be done with and without a surgical guide. But the idea is that with a surgical guide, the prosthetic is uh, cemented to a cylinder and sent to the doctor. Now, in these situations, even if the implant is placed almost absolutely perfectly with the guide, the likelihood that the contacts are going to be dead on are uh, are low. It's not going to be um, not going to be a good contact, and will probably have to be adjusted on one side or the other, and then added to, and that can cause some work and time during surgery. Now, there are of course other options. There are several other options to uh, to placing an immediate temp. Um, this is a very desirable method of delivering an implant. And so doctors for years have called us and discussed ways of delivering, uh, delivering an immediate temp. What's the easiest way? And if not, uh, what type of temporary prosthetic can be placed there? You know, Flipper or an Essex or um, any number of products. So instead, why not load the day of surgery why not do it with something very predictable and very simple to use? Uh, so we developed Guided Temp. And as you can see here, this is uh, one of the images in the middle of the process, but you can see that the tooth, the temporary tooth, is suspended over the temporary cylinder, and the doctor simply backfills. It can't be much easier than that. Very predictable, very simple. So let's go through a case. As with all guided surgery cases, the first thing you do is make sure the guide fits, seat the guide, make sure there's no rock, adjust if needed, and then move on. In the case we're going to show today, this is an immediate extraction uh, situation. So the tooth is removed. Then the guide is seated. And in this case, I believe there was no flap. Uh, but that's an option, of course, if you want to flap. We can place a window in the guide so that there is room for tissue to be flapped, labial lingual. Just let us know during the online meeting. And the guide is seated, and the, uh, the sequence is followed by the guided kit to make the osteotomy. And we won't go through all that whole process. This is really more about the temporary portion of it. Uh, so let's just presume that the sites are drilled, the implant was placed through the guide. Uh, this is a um, neodent implant and so this is a master tube and the master tube accommodates the implant driver and the mount and so you can 
uh, seat the implant with the guide uh, in the right indexing, the right rotation, and the right depth so that whatever we planned is what's going to be delivered. So of course you want to make sure that you have torque um, or you can use um, other tools uh, to make sure that the that the numbers are correct on the implant that it's in there securely. So torque the implant in. As you can see the implant is now placed. There you are, nice image of the implant body and the interface. Of course you want to make sure that there is no tissue covering the interface. That can also be addressed a little bit later. But Place the abutment that is provided. This will either be a tie base or temporary cylinder, temporary abutment, whatever the implant company offers. A lot of implant companies are not up to speed on parts for this, uh, but most of the popular um, most of the popular systems are. Okay, it's seated, and the next step is just to simply seat the guided temp so that it's passive. Of course, you don't want any contact on the abutment. This would have to be relieved if this was contact, and you don't want any. Uh, pressure on the implant in, in, in any direction. And then at this point, you would just simply backfill around the temp cylinder to fill this void. And you want to use, obviously, a tooth colored material. You could use flowable composite, uh, but there's other materials such as Stellar DC acrylic. It comes in tooth shades. Uh, sometimes they're a little bit bright. Uh, and of course, it is just a temporary, and these, the patient has other teeth that that have some bright spots on it. Uh, but you could use a flowable composite so you get the right shade. And then it's removed. Clusal view, intaglio view, and you can see that it's just simply backfilled. Not a lot of material. So as you can see here, the doctor has cut the metal down and then the void is all filled in, both on the lingual and on the occlusal. And then it is simply desprued polished and seated and I'll be darned it's tough to even remember which tooth we uh, restored it's this one so that's guided temp we hope you take advantage of it it's a wonderful product simple to use and can be chosen on our website when you pick a surgical guide it's just another one of the options thank you